Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Tanzil and in the last video we have learned how to install Windows 11 in VirtualBox. Now in this video we are going to see how we can get the widescreen display or the high definition display in Windows 11 virtual machine. Now to get that we have to install the VirtualBox guest editions. So just start up your Windows 11 virtual machine and then once it starts up you can just click on this devices in the menu bar and then just scroll to the bottom that says insert guest editions cd image just click on it and then you might observe that nothing has happened so you might be getting a feeling that something is wrong here it's not working but i'll just open this pc and i'll show you that the virtual box guest editions has been mounted even though we have not received any notification or any kind of message but the guest edition will be mounted and you can see that here now the funny part is if you click on devices once again and then click on insert guest editions it's not going to give any kind of message or error you can keep clicking on it and it won't change anything and the guest edition will be mounted as it is so just open your computer and then right click on this mounted VirtualBox guest editions and then you can just click on open and then you can see all the files that are available to install the guest editions for different operating system and since we are running Windows 11 so we have to look for this one VirtualBox Windows editions and this one is for 64 bit so we have to run this we cannot run the x86 which is for 32 bit and then if you are running amd processor then you might go for the second option that is amd 64 but since i am running intel processor which is a 64 bit processor so i'll just click on the first one so just right click on it and then click on run as administrator all right then just click on next few times and then let the installation be over now once the installation is over we have to reboot our virtual machine so just click on finish just enter your pin or password and log in into your computer all right now you might think that nothing has changed here but you will observe that the mouse is moving more smoothly now now to change the resolution just right click on this small display icon that we have on the bottom and then scroll to virtual screen one and then finally you can just choose or select the resolution which is the best for your display the recommended resolution for your display you can just select it from this list and then you will observe that the display has changed and now we have a full screen high definition display all right and if you want to know more then just right click on the desktop and then click on display settings all right then the display setting is going to open up and from here you can observe that the display resolution now is 1920 by 1000 now you might be wondering that it's not a standard resolution so i'll just explain you why it's 1000 and not 1080 it's because of the fact that this virtual box is running inside a window and this window has a title bar as well as a status bar on the bottom so because of these two bars it's taking up some of the height which is available in the display so if you click on view and then click on full screen display then this display resolution is going to change to 1920 by 1080 and you have to remember that to exit the full screen you will have to press host plus f and host key is the right control key so you have to remember that after that just click on switch all right and now you can see that the display resolution is 1920 by 1080 which is a standard resolution if you want to check more then you can just scroll down and click on this advanced display then you can see the information related to the wired display and if you want to check the display adapter properties you can do that from here 
and if you click on list all modes then it's going to show all the modes that can be accepted by this display anyways that's all for this video i hope you were able to change the display settings of your virtual machine so if you like the video don't forget to give a thumbs up and uh, i'm going to see you in the next video thanks for watching